Okay, it's about a day later. Um, I was thinking about that idea of generating numerals um, using an analog synthesizer to, uh, to generate the waveforms kind of randomly or semi-randomly and then uh, cherry-picking the ones that happen to look like numbers. I'll give you some examples so far. I've got a couple. Uh, here's the best zero I've been able to come up with. Uh, here's another zero. Um, the, the little wiggle you see are the, is the slewing process inside of the app to uh, change from one sound setting to another. But uh, that's one zero. That's another one. It's a little less stable. That was actually the first one. This is the, the second one I came up with. And then the third one, which is practically perfect. Uh, I also have a one. So basically I've, you know, the uh, the basis of an, a binary clock, if I really wanted to do it. Um, sort of. <laughs> Great, it's looking like crap now. Um, but anyway, you get the idea. We can jump between zero and one um, just by, uh, you know, picking different waveforms and uh, pushing those to the scope. You know, presumably I'll have a, uh, you know, something wired up for the Arduino or a Raspberry Pi that will you know, selectively play tones, and each tone obviously would be representative of a number. One or zero. Or one or zero. Uh, I actually had a, a two in there for a while, but I couldn't... Um, I didn't manage to get it stable enough to save, but... Uh, you get the idea. That's my best one, and that's my best zero. <laughs> More later.